by the way, you're a binge watcher, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. On my treadmill. Homeland. Yeah. All the way. Get Homeland, through. Homeland, thing. By the way, when House of Cards was released, <laughs> Frasers didn't sleep for three days. It was crazy. Well, see, it all makes sense because according to Nielsen, nearly 50% of all U.S. homes have DVRs. And with Netflix and Amazon releasing entire seasons at once, well, binge watching is definitely here to stay, Kevin. Don't be afraid to binge. But did you know that some people actually earn money by binging? It's tonight's big picture. Paid to binge watch. I actually binge watched uh, Game of Thrones and back in the day, The Wire. I binge watched Orange is the New Black. Okay, you know what I binge watch? Veep. Veep after veep after veep. We love you! Oh! Thank you, Kevin. My other favorite show, nobody really watches that much, but they should, uh, Vikings. I'm a lesbian and I want that guy. I binge watched uh, Fargo, which I love. That's kind of how I love to watch television. And it's how you love to watch shows, too, according to a TiVo survey. 91% of you called binge watching a common behavior. And here are your top three favorites. So how do they choose your roommate? Orange is the New wow. Black, Game of Thrones, and House of Cards. And let's slip the dogs of war. Now, can you imagine actually getting paid to binge? They always say, find someone to pay you what you love to do. Greg Hardy has that dream job. He's been a professional tagger for seven years. Highbrow versus lowbrow. Here's how Netflix advertised the gig in the UK. Taggers are the bright sparks who help us make your Netflix personal. Their analytical minds pick up on the most subtle details. So we'll track everything from where the movie takes place, how much action is in it, how much comedy, how much romance, how much gore, how much violence, how much sex, how much nudity. The info works both ways. It helps Netflix push what else you might want to watch. Your Netflix is tailored just for you. It's personal. We know what you say you like and what you actually like. The company employs about 40 taggers. Greg's salary is under wraps. He works 20 hours a week. One report put the number at several hundred dollars a week. I literally can't complain because people won't listen to it. <laughs> so are shows being marketed for binge watching? And is that a clever way to get us hooked? Every drama out there wants a binge watch audience, especially after seeing the success of Breaking Bad. That's a perfect example of a show that had such a small audience starting out, and then it went to Netflix and people got totally addicted to it, so by the final season we were all hooked. Say my name. Now I think a lot of shows are trying to capitalize on that early by offering some of the similar binge watching components uh, from the beginning, so people really get invested early on. And how will binge watching affect this season's latest crop of shows? As viewer habits are evolving, network hits like Gotham, NCIS New Orleans, and How to Get Away with Murder are offering apps that have all the episodes that have already aired, plus new content that hasn't yet aired, so viewers can easily get their fix.